that university building provides so variety of spaces, different characters, many, many courtyards and uh, entrance. The context of the community um, that you have in Stirling, where you have um, students obviously and then the staff, it is an ideal opportunity to get a really wide range of feedback from different people. I notice them all the time and sometimes depending on how the light falls, if there is light, if there is sunshine, um, you can see sort of different shapes and there's some in particular um, out, outside in, in the uh, uh, square and I'm, I'm here on Sundays sometimes and it's very quiet and I look out and I say, oh there's somebody just standing out in the snow, why would they be doing that? But it's a sculpture, so that's quite neat um, and startling, it's something different, unexpected. Sculpture to be to be sculptor is something special. You you work with real materials, with interesting ideas. Uh, you you research of society, history, science, whatever you name it. Then you make something by yourself, and the whole process is all yours or mine, I must say. So I am genuine sculptor, which I I am and which I want to be. From very, being a very small child, one of my favourite things anywhere in the world was the Degas ballerina in the National Gallery's collection. And I managed to talk the guard into actually letting me touch it. So he just said very tactfully, I'm going to be leave, investigating the other room and I'll be gone for ten minutes. I won't be able to see what you're doing. The, the idea of, of this was really, almost came from a kind of Japanese fan and the way it folds out. But then I also just like the way that by, by folding the shape like this, you get the light catching it in different ways. And then the reason for the... This was actually originally made as a pair to go at Melistain House. And then they were on two pillars. And just behind them was an antique statue of um, Hermes, or Mercury, depending on whether you use the Greek or the Roman name. So I just was playing with the idea, really, of having this antique statue of a Greek god, of how could I represent them with totally modern pieces in order to fit in that environment. I think in a lot of ways, the, again, it's the, how the context changes with the different place is quite interesting, because of course now that they're in Pathfoot, um, not necessarily the Greek side of it comes, or the Roman mythology side of it comes out at all, but then if anybody does find the title, then I think it might hopefully open a door of imagination of why on earth are they called Mercury and, and Hermes and um, get people thinking a bit. We work together quite a lot, but in the sense of uh, making pieces for the same site. I mean, within our building, her piece comes in front, my piece goes to the back side, or going to the courtyard, or uh, like similar like in a starring university settings. A couple of occasions we did idea, putting ideas together and just made one piece between us from idea to completion, production completion. Mm. He's and still married. He's yeah. Still oh yeah, that's a miracle. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> but he's, he's actually much braver than I am because he's a very good critic and he will come into the studio and look at all my toys, all my maquettes and uh, tell me that they're simply not good enough and I've got to see what on earth am I doing and I could do so much better. Um, I tend to be a bit of a wimp because I'm not sure if I could get away with doing that. <laughs> the at the end you always come back with that better yeah. idea, so it's worth pushing it. <laughs>